Hi everyone, my name is Kaya. And I'm Amber, and we're both library assistants in the Wilson Library. And we're here today to talk about a display that we have in the basement called the From Our Collections display. Yes. So our most recent display is on armchair travel. Um, we know spring break is coming up, and not everyone always has a chance to leave Minnesota, and so we thought we'd celebrate reading by choosing books from different countries around the world. But we're starting off in Minnesota with Kitchens of the Great Midwest by J. Ryan Straddle. And this is the life story of Eva, who grows up in the Midwest, um, and she grows up around food and becomes this famous chef. Um, so each chapter is told from the point of view of someone else in her life, but each one also incorporates some sort of uh, Midwestern culinary food. Um, so there's one on venison, there's one on lutefisk, um, there's some newer things for foodies like sweet habanero jelly. Um, so if you like things like a Prairie Home Companion or wander around farmer's markets, check out Kitchens of the Great Midwest. Our next book um, is The Ice Princess by Camilla Blackberg. Um, and for this book, we're going to hop across the Atlantic to Fjallbaka, which is a tiny municipality in Sweden. Um, it's known today mostly for being a summer tourist spot. Um, the Ice Princess is one of many masterful crime thrillers that have come out of the area in the last few years, including like The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. So in this book, Erica, our main character, has just returned home after her parents' death. She is hoping to mourn her parents' death and work on her next writing project in peace. But shortly after she returns home, her childhood friend Alex is found dead and frozen in her bathtub with her wrist slit. When Alex's parents ask Erica to investigate their daughter's death, she teams up with Detective Patrick Hedstrom, and the pair delve into the dark secrets of their tiny town. Um, as fascination turns to obsession, the pair struggle to find out what really happened to Alex. So find out what they discover in The Ice Princess by Camilla Lackberg. All right, so so far I've been to Minnesota and then we've been to Sweden. Um, if you're looking for a warmer destination, we can go to Chile with Maya's Notebook by Isabella Allende. Um, and this is the story of Maya, a young woman who experiences the tragedy and which sends her life spiraling out of control. Um, her grandmother sends her to live with a family friend, Manuel, um, in a remote island off the coast of Chile, an uh, island called Chiloé. And on this island, um, she works with Manuel, who's an anthropologist studying the magic of the island. This story is told through her journal entries as she uh, recounts what happened to her and works through um, a healing process, but also has some really great descriptions of life on the island. So check out Maya's notebook. Our next book brings us to Lagos, Nigeria, in Nnedi Okorfor's novel, Lagoon. Um, I don't think people typically think of science fiction when they think of Africa. I know mm -hmm. I certainly didn't when I, before I read this book. Um, but Okorfor writes really masterful science fiction with a really deep sense of home for her home country, Nigeria. Um, in this book, a famous rap artist, a marine biologist, and a wayward soldier find themselves on Bar Beach when a spaceship crash lands into the ocean and sends a massive tidal wave onto the beach. The three are drawn into the ocean, and there they meet an alien race of shapeshifters. When the three emerge back to land, they have one of the shapeshifters with them and must act as her ambassador to the rest of the world. Um, Okorfor hops perspectives quickly, bringing you on a chaotic ride to discover what being a citizen of Lagos and the world in general really means. Lagoon by Nnedi Okorfor. All right, our second to last stop on this journey brings us to North India with Hullabaloo in the Guava Orchard by Kiran Desai. Um, as you can see, this is a little bit of a shorter book. Um, it's also a little more lighthearted and comic. Um, it's a story of a man who works for the Postal Service in India. Um, he's not the most motivated of individuals, so one day he leaves work, climbs a guava tree to take a nap, and just decides he's not gonna come back down. Um, however, this refusal to come down means that the people around him mistake him as a holy man making a statement, um, which leads off to a circle of very unusual kind of eccentric events. So if you're looking for kind of a fun book to read um, that's going to make you laugh, maybe a touch of fantasy, check out Hullabaloo in the Guava Orchard. And our last book um, takes place in Australia, because who wouldn't want to spend spring break in the outback? Um, so this book is called Grace by Robert Drew, and it's part thriller, part a story of survival, um, and it takes place in Western Australia. Grace Malloy, our main character, was formerly an urban film critic with a dangerous stalker. Um, after her stalker made advances that crossed the lines, she fled to the northern, um, she fled north to the Kimberley Frontierlands, where she began to work at a wildlife park. This is where the story actually begins, and the story of her stalker is told in flashbacks throughout the story. 
And here at the park while she's on a tour, she runs into a fugitive from a nearby detention camp. The two share a desire to flee their former lives, but can they share anything else? Find out in Grace by Robert Drew. So thanks for watching Read This Book. Um, we hope you enjoyed our literary world tour. Um, and remember that you don't have to get onto a plane to travel far and wide this spring break. Check out these books and more books like them in the armchair travel display that is in the basement of the Wilson Library right across from the Dunbrooks. Yeah, thank you.